Welcome back to the channel. So today we we're working on the Versa again. Had some issues with it uh, driving down the road a little bit. So show you what's going on. So basically lost all like power. It essentially feels like when you're accelerating, like it's almost like holding the brake pedal and the gas pedal at the same time. It doesn't move out of its own way essentially. So we'll go ahead and start it. Again, no check engine light, e-brake down, no brake lights. Check the brakes, they're not rubbing or dragging or anything, but if it's interesting, so we're in park right now. So he brake up and park. I'm gonna floor it and look how slow the RPM gauge goes up. So this is to the floor, to the floor. So it also does it in gear which we'll show you. That's essentially what happened on the way home. I basically had no power and the car wouldn't get out of its own way, but no lights, all the gears work as they should. Well, gears, the CVT feels like it works as it should, almost feels like it's slipping. But again, with it doing it in park as well, I doubt it's a CVT issue. Plus this transmission's fairly new in this car. So we'll just go. So let's see. So we're floored right there. And the car is just barely moving. So turn around. Come to a complete stop. Right. And floored. I am floored to the... So, that's essentially what it was doing. Made it very dangerous to get it home because the car just would not get up to speed very easily. So I did a little bit of research and it actually sounds like it is the brake light switch. So, I did check the switch, or check the lights. So to check the lights, I wedged a pry bar in between the seat and the uh, brake pedal to hold the brakes on and had no lights. So with that, we have a new brake switch from Advance Auto. There's the uh, part number, SLA 1016. And the switch is up underneath here, if you can see it. So we'll go ahead and pop that out, replace it, and see if that fixes our issue. All right, so we'll start off unplugging it. It's easy. So looks like it just twists and pops out. Grab our new one. Make sure it's not holding the brake pedal down. So All right. 
that in. Let's give it a try. All right, we got our pry bar in there wedged on the brake pedal. Now we got brake lights. So that's one step. So now let's, let's check the free rev. Oh yeah. Rev's good now. So we'll take it out the street here. Give it a little floor into the cul-de-sac. Was at a complete stop. No, it's for it from a complete stop now. Oh yeah, okay. She works. So yeah, that was very strange to me. I, I've not done too many brake switches. I've had to replace them on older vehicles. I've never had it affect the actual power of the vehicle. So if you have a Versa or a similar car, brake switch might be your issue well hopefully this video is a little bit informative and uh, can help you out if you ever have a similar issue with a, a similar car I guess I'll see you on the next one